Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video for those who have wondered why a vehicle, or a 4x4 vehicle for that matter, got two gear levers. Now I know that some of the newer ones don't have the gear levers anymore, they've got push buttons. But I'm going to explain the 4x4 system to you and with reference to my Mitsubishi Pajero's gear lever explain what each one of the modes if we can call it that means I have drawn up a very sophisticated illustration here right now this side is the normal gear lever that you use um, this is an automatic so it's got park, reverse, neutral, drive and then some automatic gearboxes will have a 1 and a 2 mine hasn't, it's got like Tiptronic so I've got a gate that I go through and then I've got plus and minus which means shift, shift up or shift down but what we are interested in mostly is what the other gear lever does now the Mitsubishi has got Hmm. modes that you can select the first one is two wheel drive high that would mean that only the rear axle is driven then it's got four high which means the rear and the front axle are driven but in this one's case which is different to the pickup system is that this Mitsubishi has got a differential in the middle as well so if you switch it to 4 high you have a differential here a differential there and a differential there which means that this is open as well so in theory if I pick this one wheel up and I try and drive forward the wheel that turns the easiest will spin and all the power will go to that wheel which is not actually a true four wheel drive and that is why you've got four high locked that means it locks this center diff so in other words now the equal amount of power is going to both axles but if I lift this wheel and that wheel up this wheel and that wheel will spin freely if the electronics doesn't engage so that's where a lot of people get confused you get a diff lock for this diff then you get a diff lock for your rear diff and you get a diff lock for your front diff so for argument's sake if I had a diff lock there and a diff lock here it means that the power will go equally to the front and the back the power will go into the diff because this is locked equal amount of power is going to go to both wheels here but if it's not locked in front or I haven't got locker in front the wheel that turns the easiest the power will go to that wheel so if you put a locker in front and at the back then all four wheels get the equal amount of power and that is the best option but it costs money so what did Mitsubishi do? they put in some clever electronics that catches the wheel that spins and applies the brake so in other words instead of putting diff locks here and here they have got electronics that monitors the wheel and compares it with all the other wheels which senses when one wheel is spinning breaks that wheel and automatically transfers the power to the other wheel so what happens here then you get another mode which is four low locked so in other words 
what the low range means is that you change the ratio so that your vehicle becomes slower but a lot stronger and that is ideal for climbing rocks and things like you know where you've got very bad terrain you've got to climb you need a lot of torque to climb up things but you don't necessarily need speed so let's just recap for two, two wheel drive high only these the rear axle are driven and of course the electronics are still monitoring so if any one of these two wheels is spinning the electronics will grab it and transfer the power to the other wheel that has got more traction four high same thing applies but the center diff is open so if there's no electronics and one wheel lifts that one wheel will spin four locked means that there's equal amount of power going to both the axles but in my vehicle's case hasn't got diff lock so it relies 100% on the electronics to measure or to sense when one of the wheels on the diff are spinning to grab that and sometimes this traction system gets it wrong and you've got to have a take one, take two or take three then you just approach with a bit more enthusiasm and then that is basically the same as four high it's just the change of the ratio to give you more power and less speed I hope this was helpful and I would appreciate any questions in the comment section below if I left anything out so I know that a lot of you might know all of this but this video was made for those who don't thank you for watching until tomorrow goodbye oh by the way one of my viewers potshot asked which day is it in the lockdown got no idea I think I'm busy with day 19 but I'm I'm not gonna mention it in the videos anymore because I don't know anyway until tomorrow enjoy bye bye